My name is Ted Miet U, and I was born in Yangon, and I moved to the UK when I was four. I really, really wanted to move back. I completed my studies there and I moved back straight after I graduated. It wasn't until I got here that I fully realized the scope of what was going on. I'm very fortunate because the country opened up at the same time I finished university. When I came back, I realized that there were all these new ideas floating around and people seemed more free. What I wanted to do was to start a business that is sort of a throwback to Yangon or you know Rangoon in the early 1900s or the late 1800s and also the future not just in terms of where Yangon's going to move but what Yangon would have been had the country not have closed down for so long and that's where the idea of the tea house came up it's sort of like the local pub in the UK you know I don't want to open a business which is too different to culture here when you step into this space you should be able to get Partly nostalgia, but also, oh, so, you know, this is what Yangon would have become. My parents were both doctors, and especially my dad, who wanted to practice. Um, obviously, because of the political situation, he thought it would be better to move abroad. I grew up in Sunderland, which is probably not the most culturally diverse city. There certainly weren't any other Burmese people around. And because of that ignorance or lack of exposure, that probably led to some bullying in terms of, oh, this guy's really different, where is he from? I'm proud of who I am and I'm different and it's good. I think that's partly why I moved back also. Because of the city we grew up in, we sort of had a default emotional response to everything, which was to be proud of where you're from. I definitely wouldn't be who I am had I not been there, you know, it, it taught me a lot about humility and being able to accept yourself. Yangon allows me to come back and really have an impact on, on where it's going to move in the future based on my own vision. And, and in London, it's very hard to do that. The biggest benefit of having lived abroad is the exposure that I have. I, it's easier for me to see what Yangon might become in the future, to be able to predict where it might go based on the places that I've traveled and based on where I grew up. Because the country's been shut down for very long, what that means inherently is that people's expectations are lower and the only way to fully change is to change the expectations. Businesses that have been opening up here, they bring an international level of quality and service. And that, I think, can only benefit the average person here, you know. So I think it's very important to, to listen to what everyone has to say, what people here have to say, but also what Burmese people living abroad have to say. What someone like myself or my parents would bring, especially my parents, they have a real, real insight into what the country is, because it hasn't moved on so much from the last 20 years, and what the country could be in terms of infrastructure and expectations socially, you know, in terms of healthcare and education. I think it's very important. Things like that are the places where Burma needs to grow fast. People who, like myself, who've lived abroad, I think that's the main thing that we can bring.